So today's story is called Zack and Wheezy. And who are Zack and Wheezy? The dragons. Zack and Wheezy clean up. And this is a Dragon Tales book. So let's begin. Zack and Wheezy. I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with dragons in a land apart. Ooh, me too. Max was digging through his giant toy box one bright afternoon. Look, I found my favorite drum, Max called to his big sister, Emmy. Have you seen my drumsticks? E Max, Emmy mumbled, staring at her feet. I thought those old drumsticks were just garbage, so I threw them away. You threw them away, Max cried. Oh, how does she feel? Sad. And how does he feel? Oh, a little bit angry. Mm -hmm. Max couldn't believe what Emmy had done to his drumsticks. After all, Anyone could tell that his beautiful sticks were not garbage. But before he could say anything, the magic dragon scale in their playroom began to shimmer and glow. Look, Emmy, cried Max. The dragons are calling us. We'll look for the drumsticks later, Emmy promised her brother as she picked up the glowing dragon scale. And just as it always did, the magic scale took them on a fantastic journey to a wonderful place called Dragonland. Max and Emmy landed right beside a deep tunnel called a knuckle knucker hole. Come on, cried Emmy as she jumped in. This is the way to Zack and Wheezy's cave. Max quickly followed and soon the children were sliding up, down, and all around the corkscrew curves of the crazy knucker hole. Max and Emmy tumbled out at the feet of their favorite two-headed dragon. Hi, Zack! Hi, Wheezy! said Max. The children watched as Zack dumped a basket full of tinfoil and string into a garbage chute. You're just in time, said Wheezy, whose eyes were shut tight. Zacky has a big surprise for me, but I can't peek until he's all finished. Zack leaned over and whispered to Max and Emmy. I'm cleaning Wheezy's side of the cave so it will be nice and neat, just like mine. She's going to be so surprised. Uh-oh, thought Emmy, remembering Max's drumsticks. Before she could warn Zack, he dumped the last of Wheezy's things down the deep, dark garbage chute. Okay, Wheezy, said Jack. Oh, Zack, open your eyes for the big surprise. Oh, is he going to be happy or is he going to be sad? I think he's not gonna like all his things being thrown away. Let's see. Wheezy opened her eyes and almost spit fire. <sighs> when she looked at her empty side of the cave, where's my favorite ball of tinfoil and my slippery green rock collection and my best button bracelet? She asked, where are all my things? What do you mean? answered Zack. He couldn't understand why Wheezy seemed so upset. All I did was throw away the trash. Uh-oh. But was that trash to her? Oh, I don't think so. You threw away all my beautiful treasures, Zacky, cried Wheezy as she rushed to look down the garbage chute. We have to go down to the garbage cave and find them. Not that garbage cave, groaned Zack, as Wheezy dragged him along. Wheezy was delighted, so Max and Emmy held on tight as the dragons took to the sky. Wow, said Max, as they flew over the giant mountain of trash. 
There must be a gazillion tons of garbage down there. Yep. And a giant recycling machine, too, Wheezy added. Oh, dear. The dragons and their friends came in for a landing right in the middle of the dragon dump. They found Arlo, the garbage dragon, stuffing piles of trash into a big machine. I'm sorry, Weezy, Arlo said when he heard about their mission. The garbage from your cave has already gone into my old recycler here. <gasps> Uh-oh. It was too late. The dark garbage cave was empty. All my treasures are gone, said Weezy, sniveling. Arlo the garbage dragon has already taken everything away to dragon dump. Oh no. We could fly to dragon dump and find your things, said Zack, suggested with a sigh. Zack hated the thought of all that smelly trash, but he really wanted to make things up to his sister Weezy. In here? asked Weezy as she leaned over to peer deep into the giant recycling machine. Wheezy, yelled Zack, don't lean that far. But it was too late. Wheezy lost her footing and fell right into the machine, and she pulled Zack, Emmy, and Max with her. Oh, yuck! whined Zack as everyone landed in a huge pile of garbage. Look, called Wheezy, here's my yellow yarn and my favorite tinfoil. Oh, and my slippery green rock collection. She hugged her treasures close. And does this mean we can go home now, asked Zack. Not until we find my button bracelet, Wheezy answered. And after they searched for a while, all they found was one shiny purple button. My button bracelet is near, sobbed Wheezy. Guess it's gone just like my drumstick, said Max. I'm sorry, Max, Emmy told her brother. I'll never throw anything away that's yours again. I'm sorry too, Zack told Wheezy. I'll make you another bracelet, I promise. Did you find all your fairy treasures, Wheezy? Arlo asked the fr as the friends climbed out of his recycling machine. Not everything, Wheezy said with a sigh, but Zack found a pretty purple button for me. That button sure would look fine on this, Arlo said, as he jingled a bracelet on his arm. Oh! <gasps> Wheezy's eyes lit up and her little dragon heart soared. Look, she cried, it's my button bracelet, safe and sound. Well, bust my britches, said Arlo as he carefully tied the bracelet around Wheezy's wrist. I knew this bracelet was too good to be trash. Wheezy thanked Arlo with a big dragon kiss. But before waving goodbye, she handed him the purple button. So you can start your own bracelet, Wheezy explained. Soon, Zack and Wheezy were soaring back to their dragon cave, and Emmy and Max were taking their own magical journey back home. Now, let's see about those drumsticks, Emmy said to Max. She emptied the trash can into the floor, of their playroom. There they are, Max shouted, and he grabbed his drumsticks and began to beat on his drum. Max was banging so loud, Emmy could barely hear him say, thanks, Emmy. He's happy. Found his drumsticks, so 